Welcome back to Current Pest Control. Today is Saturday, April the 30th. It's about 80 degrees or so, give or take. I'm here in Arlington uh, working on a, uh, a hospital trying to get rid of some bees in a wall. I'll show you the uh, thermal image. Here in just a second, but let me show you what we got. So they're going in to this little crack in the joint, but it appears that we got about nine rows of bricks that we're going to have to take out to be able to get them out of the wall. So sit back, enjoy, and let's see if we can get these girls rehomed. Be back in a bit. instead of going width wise so these are only like two and a half inch wide sheets not going to be real good to frame up uh, i've taken a little bit of a break to kind of let them come up and recongregate so now we're going to go ahead and and finish breaking this out so let's take a look and see what we get <laughs> Okay, I've got the hive exposed. That's just kind of free hanging down there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give these girls a break. I know there's some bees in between, but I wanna let everything kind of get back together. I don't know if they've went down the wall off to the side. So I wanna see if that queen can make its way back in. So I'm gonna take a little break and see what we can find. any eggs yet but being in the shade it's kind of hard to, to see down in the cells I and mean, I've got cat brood oh yeah we got eggs Now we just gotta find the queen. 
y'all see the queen leave a comment just let those bees continue to to come up yeah you see down in there there's eggs think she's right there let's go ahead and pull part of this bottom off so that way I can get them to come up above the brick line Now, if she's down here, she can come up and get in this area to where I can see her. So, I'm going to go ahead and work on this section here. And uh, we'll let these continue to come up. So, bear with me. Okay, so I was thinking the queen could have been up here. There's a cluster back in there, and then of course this cluster, and then down in there are quite a bit of bees. So we're just gonna have to wait her out and see if she'll come back up and get on the brood. Um, while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna attempt to put some of this comb into a frame to put with the bees. They're, they're kind of staying in the box, so I don't think we'll end up needing to do the vacuum on this round. So let me uh, give them a few minutes to congregate and we'll be right back. Okay, so I just saw the queen. She is right in this little area here. I'll see if I can poke at her and get her to come into the open somewhere. There she is, right there. girly girly oh there she is and 
we've got her. She's right up there in the, there she is, right there at the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna take and put her in here with this little bit of brood. See if I can set y'all up somewhere. Alright, so we're gonna place place her right here on this brood. Okay, so I'm gonna let the rest of all of this venture their way down. With the queen being down there, they'll they'll find their way down. Um, and then I'll come back tonight. I'm gonna clean up all of this honeycomb down here, so that way the only thing left is, is her in the box. Um, if I could find a way to set it up on this edge, I might do that, but they should be able to find her nonetheless. So let me get this picked up. I'll try to scrape off the, some of these bees just to drop down there with her. But other than that, another successful bee removal from Current Pest Control. If you would, like, subscribe, ring that bell, share it out to friends and family, anybody who likes honeybees or seeing bees saved. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Okay, so we made it back. This is uh, Sunday, April the, well, I guess now it's May the 1st. We're gonna take these, put them into this box and get them out of this transport box. From the freezer, I pulled out a, a frame that's pollen through here, honey around the edges, just to go ahead and give them a little bit of feed. So let's take a look at this and see what we have. So the way I've got these set up, I can add a queen excluder underneath. So that way I can turn the queen loose inside the box and not have to worry about her getting out and flying off until they get established. This comb's got a little bit of wax moth damage at the top, but they'll be able to clean that up and put this to use. Right, let's open this up and see what kind of population we have. Uh, that's respectable. It's not very big, but that'll work. So they're covering that frame pretty nice. I'm just going to tap these in. Okay, and this is the frame that I framed up of their brood. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six of their little frames, plus the queen right here. We'll go ahead and pull her off.
place that one right in the middle. And this right here is another drawn frame that brood has been laid in. So we'll move that in here as well. Give Queen somewhere to lay. You can tell how flighty they are. Okay, so now they are transferred. Now at this point, I could go ahead and release this queen. this without getting all this this trash in here there we go know where this is at because I set that box there late last night about nine o'clock let them do their orientation flights so they know that this is where they should be calling home so now let's let's move you up closer let's see if we can get the Queen She's right up here. She just went back in. And there she goes. Straight down in. Okay, so now we'll cover them up. Now with having with having the queen excluder on the bottom the most important thing is to make sure your lid is completely secure i'm gonna move that feed jar over give them another one later on so i'm gonna put a couple of bricks on top of this weight it down real nice and then that should be good to go these girls are actually pretty calm i mean yeah, I'm suited up because I don't feel like getting stung, but um, I kind of like their demeanor. So, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. Have a wonderful weekend.